We are doing whatever it takes. Making every moment count. Do whatever it takes. Call 1300 Go Bombers. Yeah, very handy. Uh, both uh, excellent players and um, you know, really great to have them back. Obviously, uh, last week there was a bit of conjecture about not playing Paddy in hindsight. Do you feel like you should have played him last week? Uh, not at all, no. I think, um, you know, I think Scott played reasonably well and um, able to get Scott you know, another game against good quality opposition. And I mean, the dilemma or the, the positive we have is we've got some very good tools and they can't all play in the same team. So, um, you know, we'll continue to put pressure on the play well and, and bring in guys that are in good form. James, he hasn't played for five weeks. Did you, in that instance, do you have to give him extra work? How do you put extra work into a guy? Yeah, we've certainly trained him very hard over the last uh, four or five weeks. Um, you know, he's done extra match conditioning sessions, a lot of extra running, uh, extra training with the group after after training. So, you know, he's ready to go, and hopefully his touch will be where it should be from the start of the game. Was it tempted to play him in the VFL? Um, yeah, it was tempting, but uh, we uh, we didn't have a VFL game last week, obviously, with the buy in the VFL, so we would have played VFL last week, but um, you know, we'll bring him in this week and um, hopefully he'll play well. Was there any question marks over, over his work rate and his time off? Or a few suggestions that he might not have perhaps done the work that you guys wanted? No, not at all. No, it wasn't about, um, wasn't about that at all. Uh, we, we legitimately thought Scott Gumbel was in good form deserved his place in the team and, and still does. Um, Scott, uh, for the first time I think in his career, has played eight games in a row um, and we think it's a, a time to you know, give him a week's rest and then see what happens next week. Can you tell us about Courtney Dempsey? Just, uh, we heard that he was in line possibly to return but he hasn't been this week. Yeah, Courtney will play reserves this week. Um, Courtney was in the rehab group, had a, a sore ankle um, and uh, when people in the rehab group, we don't want him going out late at night. He was out late. He wasn't um, drinking heavily. He wasn't thrown out of any. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, but the standards the players have set themselves is that he shouldn't have been out, and, and, and that's why he's not playing. Is there a temptation to, to suspend him for that? Uh, well, he's not playing seniors. He's playing reserves. So I think um, that's a, whether that's a suspension or, or what it is, but um, he's not been selected in the senior team because of uh, disciplinary action. What was his response, James? Oh, he's disappointed, but um, he understands he broke the, the, the code the players have set. He, uh, he's effectively been named, shamed and banished, and yet he might have a teammate who, unbeknown to anyone, could be on two drug strikes. Do you find that wrong? Pink? Uh, I don't think he's been named or shamed. I just think that's the reality that when you, you, know, you, you, you don't keep these sort of things to yourselves, it, it stays. Uh, it doesn't stay in the club for long, as, as you guys know. Um, the issue with um, you know strikes and illicit drugs is an issue that the AFL and the AFL Players Association have come to terms with. They've got a very um, strict set of guidelines that um, are set out to make sure that people are rehabilitated and looked after, rather than um, uh, put in a position where they you know they're, they're upset. What did you make of yesterday's findings, James? Uh, well, to be honest, I haven't. Uh, I'm not really all across exactly um, what the findings were, um, but uh, I think the illicit drugs policy is something that the AFL and the AFL Players Association have worked together for a long time on, and um, it's been very beneficial for the players in the in the AFL for a long time. So it was tough to get the boys up early in the week. Were they how disappointed were they with that loss? That the, a game that they maybe should have won. Oh, I think we realise we've got a long way to go um, in the way we want to play. I think we played some good football for patches last Friday night, but um, I wouldn't say it took us a long time to come up, but you know, when you lose um, a game that you have opportunities in, it's always disappointing. But on the other side, we, we take out the positives that we you know, were able to compete with who we think is the best team in the competition for a good percentage of the game. And you know, we've turned our attention now pretty quickly to Brisbane and um, obviously uh, trying to play well against Brisbane. What do you make of Brisbane, James? Do you think their form is um, indicative of their talent? They haven't been in the best of form, obviously, but... I actually season. thought their game against West Coast was very good. I thought, um, you know, they, they had their chances against West Coast. They worked very hard. Um, they can score against you if you if you don't defend well against them. And they're, they're, they've got a very good quality group around the around the ball. So um, we, we need to get some things right around the ball and, and stop them with their ball movement to, you know, to be on, on form tomorrow night. There's a bit of a lapse after the big Collingwood game heading into the GWS game. How do you make sure that doesn't happen again? Well, we tomorrow? certainly hope it doesn't happen again because, um, you know, we wouldn't want to be 28 points down at half time or whatever we were against uh, GWS against Brisbane. We want to get off to a good start, um, play the sort of football we want to play from the start of the game. Just getting back to Gumbleton, why wouldn't you give him a run in the VFL? What's easy? 
I oh, just we, we all these indicators, all these markers from the high performance team are that he, you know, he's he's sort of at a, at a risky stage with the, with an injury. So we'll instead of getting him injured and resting him, we'll rest him before that injury comes. With those three forwards, would you actually like to pin pin down who you want to be playing those three spots, you know, injury permitted, um, or would you just want to flip them around a fair bit throughout the year? So not flip them around, but we want to make sure that the the players are playing well week in week out. Um, they get rewarded for their performances, and they they play along the the team lines and and the way we want them to play. Um, and, and our forward line's been exceptional so far this year in terms of defending and also scoring. So um, you know it's a pretty hard spot to get a a, a, a place in, um, but it, could, it puts pressure on everyone to play well. If someone had said at the start of the year that you were going to be six and one after seven rounds. Probably would have taken that. You're in pretty good shape. Yeah, we'd take it. Um, we'll take seven and one if we can get it too. <laughs> James, we saw uh, on Wednesday night on the club show Heath Hocking talking about his Asada interview and what a, a big step that was. I guess it, it must be nice for the players to know once these are out of the way that there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we hope so. I mean, there's obviously they're going through the process at the moment. Um, some players have been interviewed, some haven't. Uh, and I think every player is looking forward to the day that you know this is finished and um, we can we can move on. A bit of pressure on Michael Voss. Do you, do you feel for him as a, a fellow coach? I think um, you, you don't know the pressures of coaching until you're actually coaching, and um, you know there's all sorts of pressures that come on to coaching. And you know I think Damien Harbick said it best yesterday. It's part of the job. You know you take the job on. You know there's pressure, and, and we we get we move through it. Mm. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.